Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check out my second NVR camera review in this channel. Swan contacted me recently and asked if I can check out and test out their 4K NVR wired camera system, which I gladly said yes. So thank you Swan for sending me this PoE NVR system for me to review. So this is their professional NVR series which features 6 4K cameras and two of them with spotlights and have two-way talk. There are several features of these cameras that I'm excited to test and these are the True Detect, which these cameras also uses PIR sensors. Wired Systems just started integrating PIR sensors on their cameras, which in a security standpoint, it is a pretty accurate in detecting important motion because it senses heat and movement and not just movement that is based on what the camera sees. You will get way more accurate motion detection of people, bigger animals, and cars, and prevent false alarms from swaying leaves, insects, and small animals that you really don't need to be notified about. The system also has two-way audio on two of the included cameras. Normally, these are a feature that only Wi-Fi cameras have. Then there is color night vision. I've been a proponent of color recording in security cameras, especially when they started integrating LED lights on them. And I know there are some of you that still likes the longer range and seeing distance of black and white footage. And comparing them is a topic on its own, which I will do a video about in the near future. Two of the cameras that are included in the kit has spotlights. So Swan has been closing the gap between wired systems and Wi-Fi security light cameras. Normally, wired systems have a long list of features and settings that will not really fit in one video review. So if everything goes well with the setup and install of these cameras, I'll be doing a part 2 or even a part 3 of this setup. If you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, I'll give you a little background of my wired NVR camera system. About a year and a half ago, I decided to upgrade my aging 720p Zmodo NVR system with the Reolink 4 megapixel NVR PoE, which I have no problems with to how I use them for, which is 24-7 recording, and as a backup to all my other Wi-Fi outdoor cameras in my house. I use it as a backup because its motion detection, which is pixel-based, has way too much false alerts. Change in light, shadows, or leaves moving in the wind, it will trigger an alert. So if you keep the notification to on, you will have hundreds of alerts a day, and 99% of it are just false alerts. This is why I use my Ring cameras mostly for instant notifications and the live streaming of the Reolink system on the monitor to watch in real time what is going on outside. As you can see in this footage where you will hear my Ring chime when my floodlight senses motion. And then we will usually take a peek at the monitor to check who or what triggered the alert. By the way, my ring floodlight has been more than 99% accurate in motion detecting. There is usually somebody or something that triggers it when it senses motion. It uses a combination of PIR and camera algorithms to detect motion. Also, I use my NVR system as a backup and if I want a clearer footage of an event that I need to check out. So with that out of the way, this one system is going to replace my Reolink system for now and if it works as intended, then it will stay up and I'll wait for Reolink to release their 4K cameras, then we can do a comparison video. So let's check out the features. This kit is an 8-channel system and includes 6 4K resolution, Ultra HD, and two of the cameras have spotlights and two-way audio. The other four cameras only have the mic, which you can hear but you cannot talk back. These two spotlight cameras also have a siren. The NVR or network video recorder comes with two terabytes of hard drive for up to 300 days of local recording and without any monthly fees. I'm pretty sure this number is for motion only recording and if you set it to record 24 seven, then it will be way fewer days than 300. It also has a feature that you can save still images to your Dropbox account so that you have at least a backup image of an event that is stored off-site. Also, you can stream in your TV using Google Assistant. So let's open up the box, which is a box with three other boxes inside. 
In box number one, we have the NVR or the Network Video Recorder Unit. In the front, we have the power and hard drive status lights. And we also have two USB ports to plug in the mouse and also to download footage or upload firmware updates. This NVR can record in 4K resolution with a frame rate of up to 15 FPS. I know I will hear some comments on this. It has a 2TB installed but can handle up to 6TB of hard drive. On the back, we have the on and off switch, power supply port, an audio out, VGA port, HDMI, another USB port, LAN to connect to your router, and 8 Ethernet ports to plug in the cameras. We have some paperwork, a README first, quick start guide, a window decal, a README second, and other reading materials, and a few more window stickers. We then have a 1 meter Ethernet cable to plug in the NVR to your router. We have the power cord for the power adapter. We have an HDMI cable to connect to a monitor, a USB mouse, then we have a 48 volt 1.5 amps power adapter. Now let's open up the second box. We have some mounting templates, extended warranty information, we have installation screws, plastic anchors, and an Allen wrench. We have these weatherproof connectors or couplers to connect the Ethernet cables to the cameras. We have a 60 foot CAT 5E Ethernet cables. Then we have the cameras. These are the two spotlight cameras which you can see the two LEDs in the front, the PIR sensor, and infrared LEDs, and the camera lens. With the spotlights on, it can record in color night vision up to 115 feet. The camera body is made of aluminum. These are weatherproof IP66 rated. At the base is the speaker for two-way talk. We have the Ethernet port to connect to the NVR and a power supply port which we don't need in this setup. Now for the third box. These are the four other cameras. We have the 60-foot CAT 5E Ethernet cables, the weatherproof connectors, and the camera themselves. These are the standard 4K cameras with PIR sensors, infrared LEDs for night vision of up to 150 feet. Also, all these cameras have a 93 degree field of view and are weatherproof with an operating temperature of negative 22 degrees to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a snapshot of what is included when you purchase this NVR system. It can be overwhelming if this is your first time installing and setting this up. The hard part is actually routing those Ethernet cables in your attic and I highly recommend to hire somebody especially if you're not a DIYer. I'll set this up first in the table to make sure everything works before I set it to replace my older Reolink NVR. First, you need a couple of things. You will need a monitor to initially set the camera system. The monitor needs to be at least able to display 720p or 1080p. Make sure it has an HDMI input. You also need a router with a broadband internet connection. So I have connected the six cameras via the ethernet cables the monitor or TV with the HDMI cable, the power supply, and also the mouse at the front. Time to plug in the Ethernet cable from your router so that the camera can be connected to the internet. We will then power up the system. First, we need to select the language and click Next. The setup wizard will then guide us to set the camera's most used options. First, we need to create a password. Click Next. I'll change the resolution to 3840 by 2160 and change to my time zone. Click Next. Then the other settings like IP addresses which I'll blur out and click Next until the wizard is finished. Then we have the live view of the cameras and everything is working okay. Now time to set the NVR up and replace my Reolink NVR. This is going to be an easy setup because I'll just basically swap the NVR and the cameras. I'll be using the same Ethernet cables from my previous setup. So I'll turn off my current system for now and I'll install the cameras. One thing I'll show you guys on the installation of the cameras is on how to install the weatherproof couplers that were provided by Swan. First, slide in the small end cap through the cable, followed by the longer piece with the tines. Then the cylindrical foam piece which has a slit in which you need to get it around the cable. 
The smaller gasket goes to the camera's connector. Plug in the Ethernet cable making sure it clicks. Then screw in the two parts together. In the end piece, make sure that the foam gasket goes inside the plastic tines. Then screw in the end cap tight. Now you have a weatherproof seal on the connection. To install the camera, just push the wires into the ceiling and screw in the base of the camera. Loosen the Allen screw so that you can adjust the position and tighten it back whenever you find the best view of the camera. Alright, so all the cameras have been installed and I hooked up all the Ethernet cables on the Ethernet ports and I have the uh, HDMI cable connected to the monitor and also the power supply and uh, uh, the Ethernet port for the router and in the front the mouse has been connected so let's fire it up and see how it works There, all six cameras are live. Now, there are a lot of settings that you can tweak and adjust which is normal for NVR systems. But I'll just show you guys the basic things and which are important to me in my case anyways. First, by default, the NVR is set to record when it detects motion. So, if you want it to record 24-7, then you have to change the recording settings. Go to the main menu, click the record option, and on channel 1, I already changed it to record continuously, which is the green shaded area, and also during motion, which is the yellow area. As you can see in channel 5, the system defaults to just recording during motion. So this is the first setting that I have to change. Next are the motion zones, which is in the alarm tab. I use both PIR and Motion and with a level of sensitivity to 3. I specify which areas I want to monitor for motion. These settings works for me which is pretty reliable with motion notification. But I'll have to play around with the other motion detection features. Now on the deterrent tab is for the cameras that have the spotlights. You can adjust the light intensity, light mode which you can choose constant light or flashing strobe, light duration and if you want the siren to go off automatically when it detects motion. The siren can also be manually turned on. So every feature can be changed, which I like, and it is very customizable. Now, if you want to receive alert notifications on your smartphone, then you need to download the HomeSafe View app. You can watch live view from the cameras and also watch recorded footage. You are not able to change the settings of the cameras or the NVR though. I like how the app is pretty responsive even in my LTE connection. It defaults to mobile stream but you can change it to substream or mainstream if your connection permits. The downside is that you will not be able to download or share any footage using your phone. This NVR system also has a PC software that you can download and install. You can watch live view and recorded footage. You're also able to download and save 4K footage in your computer. This is how I was able to download the footage from the cameras. The downside is that you're also not able to change the settings of the cameras or the NVR. This can only be done in the NVR itself. Now let's check out some footage. Please note that this video that you're watching is in 1080p. I will link down below some 4K footage that was recorded from this system which I directly uploaded to YouTube. This is the video and audio quality on the Swan 4K Ultra HD NVR POE system.
So this is the video quality of the Swan Ultra 4K and VR POE camera system and with the spotlights on and in full color recording. I got a notification now it's been 521 it's been about a minute and we're gonna see how long is the cool-off period of the Swan 4k Ultra and I got a notification again so within a minute Okay, Google, ask Swan Security. Sure, here's Swan Security. Hi, what would you like me to do? Show Channel 1. Okay, starting the stream. I'll be testing out the other settings on this system and I will do a part 2 video when I add 2 more cameras to make it a total of 8. Overall, the Swan 4K NVR PoE system is a pretty good choice. If you're looking for a wired camera setup, and as you can see in the video quality, it is pretty good in both daytime and at night. I like the color recordings at night when the spotlights are on, and also if there's some ambient lighting. Motion notifications are pretty good. Not a lot of false alerts, especially when I combine zoning with a PIR sensor set to level 3 or 4 sensitivity. There are other features like smart video analytics which you can dial down your alert notifications. And you can set up face detection, line crossing, static object detection, and more, which I'll be testing and I'll be adding it on my part 2 video of this system. The app though needs some polishing, it is not user friendly, and my main gripe is that when you receive a notification, clicking it will get you to live view, and it still defaults to live view if you respond and click on the alert 5 minutes or an hour later. And getting to the alert footage and checking it takes multiple steps. I wish there's an easy way to get to the motion activated recordings. Overall though, this is a great system, and this is not cheap either. But remember, you're getting 6 cameras, no subscription, video quality is pretty good, and not overcompressed like Wi-Fi cameras that uploads to the cloud. And you can set it to record 24-7 and alerts you of important and appropriate motion activated events and has little to no false alerts. So what do you think guys? Any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video.